what's up everybody this is your boy Serge coming at you from my home studio today I got my snare and you're probably wondering why I have no head on it right now the reason is I'm doing a video for you guys on how to tune your snare so let's get to it so as you can already see I already took the top head off and I'm just gonna show you guys the bottom of the snare so you guys can get an idea I don't need to change the bottom head because I already I already did a while back ago and it's still good so the tighter you go on the bottom the more pop you're gonna get uh, my st snare straps are from Pure Sound. I highly recommend these. Also, I got a uh, trick throw off, so it's really fabulous. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the snare back on its side. And um, you're probably wondering what kind of snare head I'm gonna use this time. But um, a while back, I used a high velocity black coated head, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm bringing it back. I got a brand new Aquarian high velocity with the dot on the opposite side. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and make sure it sits right, and then I'm gonna grab the, the grab the hoops. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna just um, make sure that the tension rods are all in. I'm not gonna finger tight nothing yet until we're make sure we're all 100% in, okay? So now I'm gonna finger tight all the way around, but the fun part comes when we start tuning, okay? Alright, so now I have the tension rods finger tight all the way around. I like to just um, push on the head, make sure that it, it gets stretched out prior to tuning it because these heads take a while to um, sit and adjust. So I got my drum key. So what I'm going to do is just, um, I like to just um, go from one across, like crisscross applesauce. So this is what I'm going to do. Two full turns on each part. On each tension rod, I did three turns, so what I'm going to do now is put the drum mic on it so that I can start getting a, a sound so you guys can hear it. And now that I got my snare mic on it, I'm going to go and uh, really fine tune it. So I might have to do one more full turn, okay? Okay, now that I have done that, I'm going to actually tighten it in some more because it's not getting the sound that I really want. I want to bring it up the tone. So we're going to do it again. Okay, so I'm going to keep going a little bit more. It's still a little loose for me. Okay, now that I have it uh, where I want it now, what I'm going to do is put the snare mic on. So what I'm going to do is uh, just play on it and see if it feels good and then uh, we'll go from there. So now that I have everything on here, it does sound great, but I think I do need it a little bit tighter. Just a little turn due to the snare still sitting and um, I've been playing drums for a very long time and I've done countless I don't know hundreds of snare heads changing and changes so 
Um, if I rush a little bit, don't think that I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. Trust me, I, I really do. So, let's go ahead and um, try this out. <laughs> easiest things to do is change the snare head and make sure it sounds good so look forward to you guys seeing this new snare head in my future videos thanks for watching appreciate you guys click subscribe and uh give it a thumbs up i appreciate it